Good morning. We are starting off our day with some conditions that are looking a little bit quieter for us here in the valley. We've got better travel, better uh, roads out there, though there are still reports across much of the valley of issues with those road surfaces being snow covered and compacted with snow uh, here in the valley. So your morning drive is not going to be the most ideal one here to start off your Thursday morning. So keep that in mind. You'll want to give yourself a little extra time once again on this morning's commute, even as uh, the snow is winding down. And speaking of, here's a look at our snowfall reports from this event. Uh, we're looking at Fargo Moorhead got anywhere between three to four inches of snow. Grand Forks, a little over four inches of snow in the Watertown area six and the, across the region. Minneapolis was the area that we got hit hardest, at least or one of the hardest hit areas in Minnesota with uh, up to double digit snowfall reports coming in from that region. So if you're planning and traveling in that area, uh, it's going to be uh, messy down that way as well. So here's a look at the latest snowfall. You could see that we're still getting some snow in the valley. We're not quite done with this just yet. There's some snow between Fargo and Grand Forks and then north of there as well. And there's some bands that have been diminishing others that start to fire up. The one in Grand Forks County and Nelson County kind of fell apart here in this loop. And then in Steel and Griggs and back into trail over the last couple of frames, we see some development happening. So still dealing with some areas of unsettled weather and some snow still flying around here. Most of it not accumulating, but in some of those showers that may uh, be an, a fresh coating of snow for you. So here's a look at our wind speeds there. Not too strong, but we do have winds that are into the teens out of the northwest in a lot of spots. Visibility down a bit in places where we're getting that snow this morning. And even if we're not seeing it on the radar, there might still be some flurries flying around. And our temperatures ranging from 1 in Oaks to 18 in Detroit Lakes and in Roseau. So it is much milder over to the east. Fargo's at 15 degrees. We're all not doing too bad as far as temperatures to start off our day are concerned. Now, as we head into the day today in your hour by hour planner, expect mostly cloudy skies. Again, a few areas of flurries, but overall that will be winding down and heading into the noon hour. You could see we're seeing some numbers into the teens and low 20s again. So nice and mild compared to our recent weather. Mostly cloudy skies. The best bet for getting a little peak of sunshine will be in the Southern Valley. Now, as we head into the afternoon today, you could see temperatures just basically holding into the upper teens and some low 20s and the wind should not be too strong here as well. This, this evening, expect those temperatures to dip a little bit, but uh, we're really looking at some okay weather here for the next 24 hours or so into tomorrow morning. Temperatures do slide a little bit more, but still tolerable for February standards. And here's a look at your planner for Friday. So changes once again, we're kind of in this warmer but unsettled pattern here. So for Friday, more snow showers are going to take over. This is noon. You could see most of us quiet at that point. We've got milder weather, but then here comes that snow lifting it out of the south again. This bringing the heaviest snowfall to our southern viewing area and by three o'clock we're looking at that spreading into Fargo Moorhead and Lakes Country and then continuing to progress to the north and east just like this last system and this will stick around to tomorrow night and into the day on Saturday. So snowfall potential we'll get that graphic up here in a little bit and show you but it's looking like we could end up with another two to five inches of snow for a lot of folks here as we head through the nighttime hours Friday night and into Saturday morning. Temperatures will remain mild and for Sunday expect some windy weather and a chance for some snow too. We've got a front blasting through and with it much colder air taking over for the start of next week. So enjoy this milder uh, these milder temperatures while you can here. Will do. Thank you Lisa. If you're looking for a way to add a little more green to your life stick around just ahead we're getting a preview of this year's Home and Garden Show.